Aloha, I'm Reverend Cindy Paulus, and I want to talk about empaths in a little different light than you normally hear about. Empaths are known to be very sensitive to energy, to things around them, to feeling, to people's thoughts. But I believe that with our spiritual involvement and growth, that we are now also very aware as empaths of the world events. I became aware of this more at the recent earthquakes that happened in Turkey and in Syria. Before I knew they happened, and by the way, earthquakes often happen during a full moon, so there was a full moon going on which already enhances and and makes our awareness more vibrant energy and more attuned and more receptive in some ways. And I've got that, I got a very bad headache. I mean, it was really bad. Now, this isn't a one-time thing. I have often gotten headaches when there was an earthquake, a bad earthquake that happened. I think energetically when there's a world event going on where we have thousands and thousands and thousands of people who are dying and suffering and praying, if we're sensitive, some part of us is sensing that. I mean, doesn't it make sense? I mean, we really are one world energy. And if you have 15, 20, 25,000 people, now the count is up to 45,000 people who are going through a traumatic event like that. That's a huge number that are putting their energy out. There's there's a couple of levels. Let me go through this. There's those who have died and passed on that are going and moving through different levels of transition and passing on. Then there are those who are praying who are injured. Then there are those who are injured and can't even pray. So you have this whole wave of huge amounts of energy going on. And if we are indeed one world, and if we are really all connected in energy, how can we not, some part of us, be aware of this? I think we are. Sometimes we really have to dumb down or try to quiet or block out things going on in the outer world because... (laughs) it could be too much, it's too, too much to try to take into our whole consciousness because it's so, so strong of what's happening out there. But I take note, and um, when I get up early in the morning to meditate, I go ahead and I just, I I do kind of check the energy field and what's going on. And, you know, if there's been disturbances in the energy field. Well, let's go back to start in the force, right? You go back to what happened in the force field. So if there's been that going on, of course you are going to sense it and feel it. And I think if you're an empath, even more so. And this also can happen, let's get even more extra planetary now. When there are solar flares, there was a solar flare that happened January 20th that could have been devastating to planet earth it happened to flare on the other side going out away from the earth and thank god right um but but yes i think we feel solar flares and there are those of course who are astrologers who feel that the planets influence us in many ways so if you're an empath Can you feel the planetary influences even more? Now, I don't want to get too heady (laughs) or too cosmic, but I just want to bring this up to make you aware. I mean, we're often aware that if you go to a large concert or something like that, you can feel everyone's energy. I know I feel that. Um, I try to avoid large groups of people because of all the energy that can be taken on at a, a large arena or large group. Uh, event. And if I do go, I usually have to leave after about an hour. I don't know about you as an empath, if you feel that. We all sense things differently. But 
But the thing is, we have to also be aware, if we're an empath, of world events and cosmic and planetary events as well. And because we are sensitive to all that energy coming in, okay? You can understand that, right? Um, if you're an empath and you have felt this, you probably may have felt it not put two and two together until maybe after a few times where this happened and it, then you sensed it. So once you're aware, what do you do about it, right? I mean, once you're aware, you, you're aware, okay, this happens, this happens, this happens. What do you do? Well, you know, notice if you're reacting, as empaths sometimes do. I react sometimes by stress eating. Um, I also, when I find out that something of impact like that has happened, I go into meditation and I do some very deep clearing breaths. And I really try to make sure I sense what my energy field is like and what my aura feels like and what my head feels like and what my body feels like. And then I spread that out to all around my aura and then further and further out, you know, in a protective light, completely going up. Now, I used to go six feet. Then I went 12 feet. I am now putting protective energy up to 50 to 100 feet around me, going up above down below on either side in front and back. You can laugh, but I have found there's so much going on with energy now that it's really good to try to put a larger protective energy field around yourself. Now, maybe you've been doing white light around yourself, right? Maybe you've learned that and are doing that. Um, if you are, I think it's great. You might even want to increase the area of that white light and include a gold light, a gold protective light around all of that energy field. A uh, gold energy light is very protective and healing. I even put um, a violet ray of light around the whole thing as well. And once you feel that you are sensing that that energy field is in effect and working, then you can just kind of, you'll feel yourself relaxing a little bit, not like, you, like you're you might feel like you're not bombarded by energies as much. You might just feel, ah, oh, you know what I'm saying? We just feel, okay, I'm all right now. I'm safe, right? And then once you're in that safe space, it's good to go within your higher self, your soul energy, and see if there's stuff as, as an evolved worker of light or energy if there's stuff that you feel you need to do in a protective, safe space to send energy out to those in need, especially if it was like an earthquake like we just had in Turkey and in Syria. Because prayers and sending light and, and really trying to do what you can do works in a couple of ways. The prayer energy going through the source of all, not through you, but through God, is helpful. Not only that, when you do this, you feel like you are not just not able to do anything. You feel like you're doing something to try to help, which is important for an empath to feel and do. And do. It is important because you feel like then Empaths really want to help and give a lot. Have you noticed that? Empaths really want to do something to help. And, you know, maybe it's not as much as you'd like to do. You know, if you want to do more, you can send some money to those who are doing work. I know that Doctors Without Borders were working in places no one could get to in Syria and other places. But that may also help you feel like you're trying to do something to help, which is important for an empath. Empaths like to help. They like to try to serve because they are very, very sensitive to energy, and energy workers know they, you can try to help and you want to help. So that's another thing you can do is possibly do give something to someone. You can actually also really try your hardest to be aware 
that a lot of these things that are happening are happening for a reason sometimes we cannot understand. And we can come up with all kinds of reasons why they happen. I mean, of course, there's all the things that are happening to the planet, Mother Earth, and the changes there. We can understand that the Earth has been going through major changes. So, of course, there's going to be things that are reactive happening on this planet to that. And as you understand that this is part of the planetary reaction as well, you can just kind of also just let everything sink in and realize, okay, this is something that's going on. As we evolve, we're seeing a lot of reaction to what the earth needs and needing to say more prayer work and energy work for this planet and Mother Earth. So that's another thing you can be aware of is trying to help go into the area where you can help and pray for saving a lot of what we need to make Mother Earth happy and balanced again. And the other thing you can do is just go into the silence and meditation and just not do anything. But just allow yourself not to block anything out, but just feel what's going on without fear. Empaths without maybe being aware of it often live with a lot of fear from the negative energy that they can pick up. So if you can see if you've let your body shut down somewhere, typically in my lower back, I'll feel it, or in my second chakra or third chakra, I might feel that. So you just let yourself be in this safe space and allow yourself to feel what you are going through with great compassion for yourself because you may have been taking on a lot of stress from what was going on in the world. And you can be very overwhelmed by it. It helps to be aware that it's okay. You're very sensitive and you get overwhelmed by these things. Not everyone's going to be compassionate back to you if you are aware of it because they think, well, you know, what's what are you going through compared to what's going on there? But for you, it's important to be aware that you are going through a lot because you're sensing a lot of what's happening. So you need to give yourself a lot of love. And you need to be understanding at those times where things are happening that you might be reacting or overreacting by world events. And I have to say, I've been aware a lot of these world events. And as much as I love to be positive and I try to do everything in the light and love, I'm sensing that there's going to be more and more of this stuff going on. Now, maybe as an empath, you want to know why. Why, God? Why is this happening? There are many like you and others that are needing to pray more. There are many like you who need to help more. And in these trying times, we're given the opportunity to do what we can do to try to make this world a better place. And it's really good to be able to do this work without getting overwhelmed and not getting frustrated and angry, but to be in that place of your highest soul, objective self, and to work from that place without the reactions, and to just stay as much as you can in the center of the light and love of your soul, connected to the highest source of all. And that might take meaning more meditation time. It might take meaning more prayer time. It might mean taking more walks in nature to heal and balance yourself. It might mean taking more hot bubble baths. It means taking care and nurturing yourself to be aware of what you need to function properly in this world and to know that you're okay 
you're okay, beloved. You are, you are a one who is aware of the light and the love and what's going on in the world. And I'm like that. You're like that. You know what? There are many, many others who are like this. So we are not alone, my friend. You know, there are many out there also sensing this. So you can send all of those, even if you don't know their names, your love and your compassion and understanding. And I think that all of these tools for you as you understand the planetary and the cosmic influences that we're going through can be helpful in taking your sensitivity to a different higher level. We are interplanetary beings here for a while on this earth and we chose to come here to do our work and this is our time to try to help. So my heart goes out to you, my soul goes out to you, my love and my light goes out to you as we do our work with sensitivity and awareness to try to do our part in the evolvement and the saving of Mother Earth and this planet and bringing in more light and love that we so need at this time. God bless you always. I send you my light and love. Stay in the light, my friend. Aloha.